Well, every year in Canada, 55,000 children are victims of sexual or physical abuse. And here in Victoria, the Mary Manning Centre offers support to abused children and teens. But there's a six to nine month wait list to get that help. Here's V. Cooper. Do you move around? Or do you Katie and Armel just completed grade 10 at Mount Douglas Secondary. They also just completed a video about child abuse. Some I really hope that through our video that everyone would be like really aware of what's um, the social issue, right? The neighbors here, but they turn out the light. It's such a big issue. A lot of these cases are like unreported, so it's just, it breaks my heart and it just like makes me realize how much Mary Manning can help so much just to help them recover. The Mary Manning Centre is Victoria's only agency solely devoted to helping children who have experienced abuse. Mary Manning is really important for the police community because we uh, refer people here, um, whether they've been sexually abused, physically abused, bullied, involved with domestic violence. So this is a really important resource for us. The Vancouver Island Health Authority provides funding for sexually abused children but no others. We have a huge wait list of other forms of abuse, physical trauma, um, bullying, other kinds of abuse that can be as traumatizing, but we receive no funding for that. So why create the video? The Youth and Philanthropy Initiative offers high school students a chance to learn about community and charity work. These teens chose Mary Manning Centre. And for two young people um, in grade 10, I thought that was so mature and their heart was just in the right place. When morning comes, it'll be too late. I knew child abuse was a social issue, but I didn't know that it was that big, you know. Their video impressed the Youth and Philanthropy Initiative judges. They want a donation for our agency of $5,000. And for us, $5,000 is a lot of money. Especially with the huge funding challenges facing this vital agency. Right now we have 56 children on our wait list. And for me, morally, ethically, uh, I don't think children should have to ever wait for services. And if they don't get the help, the kids are going to get into other uh, situations that the police are going to be involved in. But her See the video in full, log on to our website, checknews.ca, and click on links. This check program is brought to you in part by Victoria Foundation, connecting people who care with causes that matter.